Hey, so what is the first steps in buying your first home? My name is Greg Jackson. I am with the Passanetti Group Northwest, brokered by EXP Realty here in Central Oregon. So first step for you, you're going to want to find a real estate agent that you want to work with. Not all real estate agents are made the same. So the biggest thing is you're going to want to find somebody that you mesh well with. You can have a 10 to 15 minute conversation with somebody and know exactly if you feel comfortable working with them and trusting them to handle this transaction for you. So number two, you're going to want to find a loan officer that you're going to want to work with. This is a team effort. This isn't everyone against each other. This is everybody working together for the same goal, finding you a house. So talk with your real estate agent. They should have some preferred lenders and be able to point you in the direction of somebody that's going to mesh well with your personality. So from there, what you're gonna do is you're going to talk with the loan officer and get what's called a pre-approval letter. Pre-approval letters are going to essentially be a check that says that you can pay this amount. So that's going to be done through the lender, the loan officer, and they're going to look through your income, your credit, your debts, your assets, and essentially all of your financials and your financial situation to make sure that you are going to be comfortable paying what you're paying and that you're going to be able to pay the loan to the lender. So once we have that pre-approval letter, it is shopping time. This is the fun part of home buying. You're going to talk with your real estate agent. We are going to discuss what type of house you want, what area do you want to live in, what are your true home goals. And remember, your first home might not be your forever home. So don't look at it as I need to get every single checkbox marked off on my list because you're going to live in this house for maybe five, maybe seven years, and you're going to move somewhere else. So don't look at it as the house you're going to retire in. Uh, so once we find that house that you want to buy, where it's the offer writing time. So talk with your, with your real estate agent and make sure you understand what you're offering. You're going to have your sales price, your down payment, your uh, closing date, earnest money, inspection period. There are so many things that go into the offer that's going to make you stand out from the other buyers and help you win that situation. So once we are under contract, we got an accepted offer, congratulations. We're under contract now. So we are going to deposit our earnest money. We're going to have a, a home inspection. A home inspection, they're going to look at everything in the house. They're going to give you 50 to a 75 page document. That's essentially an X-ray of the property you're gonna know if an outlet isn't working. You're gonna know if the roof has 10 years left. You're gonna know if the pipes are working. Anything and everything that you would wanna know about the property, you're gonna know it. So from there, we are going to move on with the process. And after the inspection contingency, we're gonna need the loan to get to closing. Um, so you're gonna work with your loan officer and make sure that you get everything to them, your home insurance, um, flood insurance if you need it. So there's a lot more to get done in that period. You're gonna need to schedule moving trucks. You're gonna have to get all that scheduled. So we're gonna have generally three to four weeks to get that all planned out. Um, once we have that all scheduled out, we've done all of our negotiations with the sellers. Uh, closing time, congratulations. Champagne, let's have a drink. So closing date, you're gonna sign your documents, you're going to bring a check to escrow and they are going to officially record the sale with the county. Once the sale is recorded with the county, the house is yours. Congratulations, this is what you've been waiting so long for. It's awesome, it feels so good. Moving in time, and there we go. You have keys, you're in your new house. So from there, you know, every year or so, you're gonna wanna see where your home is valued. You're going to talk with your real estate agent again and say, where's my home value? You know, if it goes up a bunch of equity, 
you're going to maybe want to sell after a few years and find something else and leverage that equity. There's so many options for you. So it's very important that you work with a real estate agent that understands what your goals are, what you want, and how to leverage all of your options. So I would absolutely love to work with you. Uh, give me a call. My number is 541-640-6689. Call anytime. Let's have a conversation and see if we work well together. I will talk to you soon. Looking forward to it.